Voices who speak in favor, please come forward, state your name and your address for the record, please. Uh, Jeff Lovell, 3998, here from your road, Um I wanted to first, as, as the development authorities here, address the, the environmental study that we're doing. We're currently uh, um, on the way of flagging wetlands. We, there will be some minimum wetland impacts that will all fall up under the nationwide permitting um, program we uh, We're doing soil borings. And I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about condition two. And the other thing that's interesting about this um, this company is they've actually gone out and collected <coughs> air samples at the site, ambient air samples, because the air the quality of air there is important <coughs> to what they're doing. And that was a pretty interesting thing. Um, one of the things about the site, and, and Andrew talked about um, inland ports, and I want to address you know. The, 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 Reiterate, reiterate what's great about this side with the things that Jay, um, Jason talked about, but also the proximity of the high pressure gas, and that's a big deal because they are a natural gas user, and so that's Jason that they have this side. Um, you know, over the last four or five years, you know, we've had some pretty big industries come in that uh, have looked for sites for braille, and you know, about us to just does not have a whole lot right now, and so I think that the proximity of rail. Um, coupled with the inland port idea uh, makes this site very conducive. Um, as far as condition two goes in the M2 zone, I want to say that, uh, the prospect has a support facility that they hope to bring in here in, in the near future. And so uh, while it's not definite, um, they do have one and it would take up the rest of the space on the zone. And uh, it, it's similar to, um, if you look at PCA, they have the contract wood yard down there. It's a uh, and Fibers, totally owned different company, but they're on their site and they supply them wood. This would be a similar type of support application, so I think that helps the prospect in considering this site to know that they won't have to come back and rezone the entire site for that support facility. The other thing is, um, right now we're doing soil borings on the site, and because of the nature and the, the heavy uh, nature of some of the equipment that's associated with this industry, soil, the bearing pressure of the soil is very important. And so right now we're, we're real time every day sending them results of the, the testing, but you know their, their building is 11 acres and so it's, it's taking time to, uh, to get those results back to them. But that's going to be an important aspect of when they make the decision. And so that's one of the reasons I'd uh, encourage you to uh, allow them to rezone the entire property into the support facility, which is probably going to be on the same uh, need the same classification also because there's still some variables with the site based on the soil form. Any questions for the presenter? That was on my question. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. you, you, <coughs> excuse me, that's going around. <coughs> you talk about this supports facility. I assume you know what it is. And, yes, sir. And, 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 and you know, that would lay a lot of fears. Obviously, you can't tell us what it is. Well, I, I like it that, um, I'm sorry, I didn't interrupt. Go ahead. You I like, like it that what the, the analogy that I likened it to at PCA and Bulls and Fibers, and what they do is they bring in trees and they supply, they process the trees so the PCA can make paper. That it would be the same type hand in hand activity, similar in nature, but it's not a, I, I can tell you, it's not a paper mill. Uh, and, um, but that, that's the, the type of support. They would be assisting with the raw material aspect of what this um, container company processes or, or manufactures. Well, I think we have it in our notes what the raw materials are. They're not polluters, but they, it's, <laughs> it's still a shot in the dark. <laughs> Mr. Bolson? The question I should have asked Andrew before she said that. I don't know how these things come to play, but who, in your mind, who would be the acquiring party for this land? Would it be the development party, or would it be the prospect itself or something? Andrew would probably use the answer that close. Okay. Andrew? I didn't hear the answer. The development authority? You're going to buy the property. Any other questions for the presenter? I'm just, I'm just curious, Jeff, where you lay. I, I know that we talked about not using a lot of water, but you, you've estimated here they use 700 cubic feet of water uh, per operation hour or whatever. So, it, it, 
to, so they just simply recycle it and reuse yeah. it. It's not a consistent, it's not a constant flow of into the plant. That's right. And most of their their actual wastewater discharge will be from the domestic wastewater produced from the employees at the site. So it is very, very efficient in process that they have. Okay. Thanks, sir.